Hello, and welcome to some new Project Override updates. Um, there are a lot of changes this time. Um, probably the most of maybe any patch? I don't know. There, there, there's been a lot going on. Um, first thing you can see is there's a whole different main menu background, but also the actual assets, um, the blueprint models for the planets that I'm using are entirely different this time. Um, they're made by the same guy, but they're an earlier iteration that is more performant and now the game runs a lot better uh, especially on lower end video cards or at higher resolutions um yeah there's also a new main menu as you can see ooh, and a fade in and out effect uh, this can be either backspace on the keyboard or x on the gamepad at the main menu we'll fade this menu in and out and also this main menu can be navigated via d-pad or the joystick on the controller or actually I think the arrow keys on the keyboard as well um, yeah you can see the color the the selected effect is really subtle I need to maybe make my own graphics for this right now it's using a user interface pack that I got for real cheap but yeah now that I understand how to use all this stuff and design it myself I might just make my own thing because this is pretty limiting in the color palettes um, but yay so I can uh, choose a ship here I can choose a difficulty um, all of the buttons are accessible uh, with the with the um, controller but uh, the settings menu isn't quite set up to work with the controller yet um, but every yeah like it, it'll uh, navigate in, in and out of it fine, but sometimes it'll lose focus of what button it's supposed to be selecting. Controller menus are complicated in Unreal. Um, honestly, almost more complicated than anything else I've done in the game. But so, I will show you the uh, one level that is in the game right now. So this is this is um, gonna be the combat version of the game. Um, I'm not sort of going to have most of the RPG stuff. There will be a storyline of, of sorts. Um, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> I haven't done a ton of the, the story work on this module yet. Um, but the main thing is it's going to be a series of dogfights. And so the difficulties here, um, they not only change the the AI of the ships that you're fighting, but they also can change the numbers and spawns of, of ships themselves. So um, right now I don't have unlocking and uh, getting new ships and stuff. Right now you've just kind of got everything, but eventually you'll have just a, a couple ships to start with, and then it'll differentiate them based on sort of the class and sort of how good the fight is. Uh, but yeah, so I'll just show you. This is... Uh, this is on the easy difficulty so the AI is going to be completely brain dead and there's not going to be very many of them okay, when I say that I, I lose let's do this again here um, yeah the, the game is not very balanced at this point really I guess I should uh, use my, my rockets against them Enemy ship disabled. That was real bad. All right, here's my next target. He's one of me. Um, this guy pretty much will have to just sort of kite backwards. The fight dynamics are a lot different with the. Uh, you get bounce between those. Ship disabled. Got bounced pretty good there. Okay. Last target. Him. 
enemy there ship disabled. Yeah. That'll be the end of that. So, right now, there's just the one level, um, and uh, there's no sort of that. Yeah, that's kind of it. But event, eventually, sort of the next thing. Well, one of the next thing. Not the next thing in the game, but the next sort of evolution of gameplay uh, is going to be the ability to add stuff onto your ship between levels, upgrade it, and get uh, more capable stuff. Anyway, so that was all, that was already very difficult. That was the sort of least capable ship I was flying, though, um, on the lowest difficulty, though. Um, and I'll show you a slightly more capable ship on a slightly higher difficulty. Well, slightly more capable is relative. This thing is, in some ways... Easier to fly, some ways harder to fly. Enemy ship disabled. Okay. So yeah, you can see on the mini map already there's two ships spawn this wave instead of just one. Um, and it may not have been obvious. Well, it's it's actually honestly not really obvious. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not piloting very well right now. I swear that this is possible. I've done it before. But uh, that was a lot harder. Anyways, you can see there was more um, ships there. And I'll just show you even now if I go hard difficulty. Uh, it'll kick my butt even more than it just did. Uh, I will stress this is not balance tested hardly at all yet. Um, Enemy ship disabled. Enemy ship disabled. Here we've got two enemies. So the second wave is actually going to be a lot easier for me, I think. Um, whoops. Don't need to select that planet. There we go. So, this ship's kind of OP. Enemy ship disabled. Yeah. Mostly because of that interaction right there. Um, that's just such a huge amount of damage those ships do to you. Even if you take them out almost immediately. Enemy ship disabled. ships just have incredible aim and uh, I'm very slow so things are probably gonna have to be tweaked here um, you know maybe people are gonna get real good at the game I was not piloting optimally there um, also like I said things have not been balanced but this is just kind of a, a, a vision of where things are going from here um, there's gonna be Lots of more ships, there's going to be lots of more weapons, there's going to be more balanced weapons, there's going to be better sound effects, there's going to be sound effects for when new enemies spawn, and there's going to be a storyline, and yeah, like I said, more levels, that's the main thing, is uh, more levels and progression. So, stay tuned, um, but that's it for now. I will hopefully talk to you all again soon. Until next time.